Hey, hi, hello, welcome to the news. Let's get right into it. We got a bunch of stuff to talk about today. Okay, first, this is a screenshot of Discord that is recording a game and then being uploaded to Twitter. So it's being compressed like four times and then you're seeing a compressed version through the YouTube video. So yeah, the image quality isn't gonna look so good, but you can see that they're testing out AQ2D, AQ Mobile, same thing. It'll work on Steam. People ask about that. Or not Steam, but or on PC, wherever it is, they decide to put it on their own launcher or whatever they put it. Should probably put it on a different store. It's some more exposure. But anyway, uh, the models look really funky. Uh, if you look at the character models, the Frogzar guy on the right looks oh, all right. He looks normal. Uh, the UI, of course, is all placeholder stuff. Uh, they're just testing it. So if you're wondering where in development they are, it looks like they're testing the UI stuff. Uh, according to the tweet, that's what they're doing, UI, UX, uh, with Warlock. So, yeah, the mobile game is getting worked on, and people ask me about this all the time, so here's the latest update on that, and uh, that's what we get to see. Hopefully, more progress coming up. I think there was a uh, Design Notes post a while ago that said they wanted to get it out by January? So, who knows? Maybe there'll be a playable version by January? Maybe not. We'll see. It seems like it's been close for the past four years. So yeah, don't hold your breath on that, but moving forward, let's go. So another little news thing, Alina tweeted 100 million, a bunch of zeros, uh, spaced out with just a, some clip art of gold, I'd imagine. Um, so might mean the number at the bottom of your screen there might change to 100 million. Well, you could get it up to 100 million. Maybe, that might be the cap. That might be a new gold cap. That might be a hint for it. Uh, that's my best guess. And that's what people in the comments seem to be guessing also. So yeah, pretty cool if that's the case. Uh, gold cap increase is much needed. Kotaro's uh, Evolved Worshipper is got a little preview for color custom. So you can see what it looks like with different colors. Uh, and he actually updated even more uh, for tweaks for the torso. Been really nice there. Can't wait to see the female version. I think I said that last week. Uh, but yeah, cool stuff there. And uh, yeah, a little evolved version of Worshipper, which is a pretty popular armor. I think I showed this last week. If I didn't, ah, it's really cool. I got the uh, FD RX7 old Mac eyed out with the, uh, the graphics and everything. And uh, the backpack. Uh, cape is really cool from this set and uh, yeah, so just I like it in general mostly even though I'm not a biggest fan of the look of the Mac guy stuff I still think it's a pretty solid little set there and uh, this should be out for January for Nolly's birthday Also the finished version of Virgil from Devil May Cry. So pretty cool Speaking of very cool this design from Wade that he worked on on his stream uh, so go check out Lay's Twitter, of course, and the stream, which I think happens on the Discord server. I haven't joined one yet, but uh, maybe in the future. Really cool design uh, for this armor, and I actually hope we see it this year. That'd be cool. So Frostfell this year is going to have a 10k chest. Happened last year and the year before, and it's a, it's a trend now, and it's probably the third or fourth year in a row. Anyway, so you can see the naval, the icy naval... It's not, a, it's not a remake, it's like a different thing, kind of uh, referencing Icy Naval in some ways, uh, that Furrow made. Uh, he left a very detailed comment on the, the last news video, or the one with, with the Icy Naval on it, if you want to read that out. Uh, some good insight on that, if you'd like to see that. But uh, yeah, and you got the flames from Kotaro's set, uh, the ice set he, uh, he put on Twitter a few weeks back, or a week or two back. So, and it says that those are both chest items, according to this. So, just like the permafrost flames. Oh, which the flames might not be attached to the actual set. I might have that confused. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see for what items go where. But uh, 10k chest is confirmed. And, uh, well, it's been confirmed for a while, but some items for it are confirmed now. Uh, this is probably what the chest will look like. Let me post this up. So, yeah. Alina confirming a Thyronius armor set. A four-tiered farming set. Arriving in 2021, so next year, uh, maybe January, February, I would imagine. Uh, it's got kind of a hood to it with the, the ears. You can kind of see, like, a looks like a 
blade? Is that an arm blade or... Yeah, it's not a melee weapon because I don't think they ever have melee weapons that go up like that far. This some oh, maybe. But uh, yeah, pretty cool looking thing. I uh, can't wait to see what that looks like without the, uh, the shading on it. Another confirmed set from Alina on Twitter. Confirming all these sets. So uh, from Diogon. And this one is for Nogas' birthday. So yeah, really cute looking set here with that cape that I'm sure people love, love, love. Blades look cool. Got the nice little uh, red and orange on the outline. I kind of like that. Uh, it gets a little bit overused for Milt stuff, but yeah, I still I, I still think it looks pretty nice actually. It's a nice little color contrast there. Another another confirmed set for Milt's birthday. So this one is from this from uh, Vohan, Vohan, and uh, yeah, got the gems in the backpack and all that stuff. I think I showed this in a previous video, maybe. So yeah, let's just go forward. Hakari with a Christmas version of the guy that likes to steal your dragon kills. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's blue and <laughs> the Christmas lights wrapped up like he got in a, stuck in a Scooby-Doo trap or something. But uh, yeah, really interesting stuff there. And uh, should be out this month, a variant for Frostfell. Maybe for a chest item or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. Really, really cool outfit from Crab. Now, it's got the two Legion colors, which I appreciate because that means they could put one for Legion token, another for AC, or however they want to do it, which I like. Uh, also, inspired by Reaper from Overwatch, uh, the guy with the dual shotguns. So, yeah, really, really cool. It would be nice if they had some uh, a part of the uh, Reaper animations on there when you walk, but you can't do that with an armor. You <laughs> have, like, his uh, void walk or whatever. That would be cool. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, really cool armor from Crab, and yeah, love to see it. I'm actually surprised we don't see more Overwatch-inspired stuff, because uh, it's got a really cool art design, and it kind of matches up with like, the cartoony look of AQ, but just like a really like 3D updated version is kind of what Overwatch is. Anyway, moving on. This just got tweeted out while I was recording, so I don't really include it. So, Frostthorn Mage. Uh, based on an AQ3D armor, as you can see there. Oh, Harrison. Um, and yeah, looking good for AQ Worlds. Actually, decent design. I like that helmet quite a bit. And um, yeah, nice little makeover. Hopefully. I say this every time. Oh, okay, I'm not going to say anything about the female version. But anyway, moving on. Here's a female armor uh, from Valentine. Uh, with the cloud pose and everything like that. Uh, it's a little update. I think I've showed this in the news video like two or three times already. I like the armor quite a bit. And it's a cool new hairstyle with like the floating magical headphones there somehow staying on the side of her head. And yeah, just cool stuff. Can't wait to see that in the game. Also, they released part of, I'm pretty sure was uh, the, the dessert armor that Valentine had and never released the other part of that set. Hopefully that comes out sometime soon. And I just hit my mic, I'm sorry. All right, moving on. Atar with a set that looks like it would belong very well in Sansi. Uh, with different helmet variations and stuff like that uh, below yeah pretty nice dominique with the 2021 new year's gear i love the tattoos on the arms on both big fan a lot of milt art today uh i feel like uh christmas isn't even over frostfell hasn't even come and we're already seeing a bunch of this which makes sense because it is for january but uh this set from thyronius Oof. <laughs> I love all the little uh, little faces on the on the scythe. That's really nice little details there. Yeah, so yeah, kind of a new style for some uh, nation gear. Helmet. Oof. I love the visors uh, Thyronius does on his helmets. Those always look really cool. Even though I don't wear those kind of helmets in, at all, I, I really like the uh, the visor shape they got for him. Good stuff. Next up is from Voss. Now, Voss does the background art for... I just want to mention this really quick because I'm a, I'm a big fan. So, yeah, he does a lot of the background art for Battle 1, which looks sick. Really like the little blur and everything they, they did for this year. I think it looks rather good. Anyway, though, his art that he posted today, though, or was it today? Whenever, whenever he posted, uh, it looks really good. It's based off the swords. We saw the swords before. It looks like he's making an armor set to go with them. Or, I don't know if it's based off that, you probably have the idea at the same time, but you see different versions of it. And yeah, the helmet looks really nice on that. Big fan of the helmet. Uh, the rest of the armor are very sharp angles, I would say. But uh, some people, I'm sure, really like that sort of thing. 
the opposite of sharp angles uh, from Holia here, a Holyberry cheer armor. So yeah, very nice, very cute stuff. Maybe one day we'll get some stuff from Holia in game. That'd be nice. Uh, also a purple outfit here with a nice half face mask with the horn. Ooh, very cool. A dragon maid from Argademos or something like that. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm terrible at names. But uh, yeah, uh, here's a little ad for this person's Twitter. If you'd like to see a different version, a little, hmm, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all I'll say. Uh, it's on the Twitter. Check it out. Vaudred, but Nation. Actually a good combo, in my opinion. Very well done from Nicholas here. So yeah, it actually looks really nice. There were new drops added to Golden Arena, including four different spears. Uh, well, there's two spears, color custom, non-color custom versions of each. Uh, and then same with helmets, four helmets, two male, two female, color custom, non-color custom versions. Uh, those are available at the Golden Runes, or Golden Arena, uh, sorry. Uh, and those are, uh, you grab the quest, you go Golden Laurel Challenge, accept that quest, and then walk up one room, and then up again and fight the blessed dragon uh, and that will give you the drops so you'll have the two helmets both male and female uh, prismatic and non-prismatic versions the non-prismatic versions are non-mem the techno spear which has a non-member version that isn't color custom it's blue and the dragon spear uh, with the same deal a non-color custom version also of that one so yeah four spears four helmets pick those up they are a rare rarity so make sure you grab them before they're gone and i'm pretty sure they're also available in the 10k chest if you have that but i'd farm them anyway uh just to have both versions because uh, farming version might be a bit different from the 10k version i'm not exactly sure on that but i would grab them from farming anyway i got them very quickly from this dragon a very easy thing to farm there's a new 40k AC pack added this week, if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, everyone was talking about it earlier. Uh, it comes with an item of donate. Uh, so it's 100 US dollars and you get an item of donate awesomeness and 40,000 ACs or 60,000 if there's a bonus going on, which is a crazy amount of venture coins. It's very good uh, because previously, even with a bonus, if you bought two $40 packs, so if you bought $80 with the ACs, you get like 35k worth of AC for 80 bucks. So yeah, it's it's pretty good, especially with the bonus going on. So yeah, um, that's about all I got to say. Uh, the item of donating awesomeness being cheaper, I think is a good thing. People say it's bad. Uh, I, I've seen some people say it's bad, but in my opinion, people were spending three or 400 or more than $400 for item of donated before. So making it cheaper for a digital rare item is a good thing if they're going to be selling them uh, people bring up the thing like they shouldn't be selling them but any anyway we don't need to get into that conversation i think it's good for people's wallets that are already spending a bunch of money on the game anyway uh yeah that's about all i gotta say moving on don't feel like you need to get an item donated when you're playing aq rare items are all cool they're all there's some really really nice ones but they release new stuff all the time and it doesn't cost you a hundred dollars to get a new item uh it's it's you know, like $10 for an armor sometimes, which is crazy expensive. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so a cyber tower, a new daily login gift, a house. Uh, I think this was Reen's house for a while. I showed it on stream uh, when it was released in the game, like into the files when it was her house. But uh, Zero AC Cyber House, it's available in Techno Space Map. So go and grab that if you want a cyber house. It has an elevator, which is really cool. It's like, I think it's one of the only AQ houses. Might not be the only one, but I think it's one of the, one of the few with an elevator. A dark version of Cheercaster is available in Frostval Peril, uh, the same place where you get the normal Cheercaster, which is the red version of this, which isn't rare. So go pick that up. Cheercaster looks awesome. Dark Cheercaster, also a good looking armor, in my opinion. So yeah, make sure you go pick up those two armors. That is it for the news video this week. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I didn't think I was going to make one this week, to be honest. And yeah, but I did because I saw a bunch of cool stuff on Twitter and it, it just made me kind of want to make one. It, it's like kind of habit, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a comment on what your favorite thing was and I will be live playing a little game on Twitch that I've been looking forward to for a while. So if you want to tune in, see that. I haven't got past the title screen yet and I played it for 10 hours. So I'll be playing some more of it tonight. Maybe, maybe we'll meet Keanu 
uh, and uh, do some stuff like and do some more stuff in the story. We'll see. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. A massive, massive shout out to all of the channel members. Thank you guys for supporting this channel, making videos like this possible. And yeah, I really appreciate it. Can't state that enough. Thank you guys for supporting this channel.